not just a word. Today's word is worship. The definition of worship in the dictionary is to show reverence and adoration for. In Genesis chapter 22, verse 5, it says, He said to his servant, <clears throat> Excuse me, stay here with the donkey while I and the boy go over there. We will worship and then we will come back to you. I chose this scripture to show that kids and adults both can worship God. There is no age limit. In Exodus chapter 34 verse 14, it says, Do not worship any other God, for the Lord whose name is Jealous is a jealous God. We are not to show love to anyone nor anything more than God because he is a jealous God. Psalm 100 verse 2 says worship the Lord with gladness come before him with joyful songs. We are to show reverence and adoration with gladness in our hearts. We can't worship God mad. We can't worship God anxious. And we can't worship God being depressed. We can go to God with these things, but we cannot worship with these things in our hearts. The scripture says to come before God with joyful songs. And joyful songs actually put us in a better mood. And many times in my own life, I actually missed out on worship because I had too many things that were heavy in my mind, heavy in my heart. I was stressed out about life. And those were things that were preventing me from being in that place of worshiping God. In Matthew chapter 15, verses 8 to 9, it says, These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They worship me in vain. Their teachings are merely human rules. Our heart has to be in it in order for worship to take place. We can say and do things that look like worship, but if our heart is not in it, it's done in vain. Joyce Meyer actually uses a similar uh, scenario when she talks about uh, worship, and she says that it calms, quiets, and, and <clears throat> it calms and quiets our body, mind, and spirit, which is similar to uh, being before surgery. So she referred to it as like the anesthesia before surgery. And then she referred to surgery as actually God's word. What I want to say, though, is our heart has to be in it as we seek a closeness to God. We cannot allow things or people to prevent us from being vulnerable with God. Worship is personal. So I can't be in a state of worship wondering what I'm looking like, being self-conscious about what people are going to think of me. Um, worship can take place in a private setting. Worship can also take place in a public setting. But we all need to be mindful that worship is personal. There are times that God actually shows me hard truths about myself during worship. Not all the time, but sometimes he would. And I had to be open enough for him to actually show me. I also had to be open enough to receive it. When I did receive it, I could admit that it was wrong, and then I could make a decision to turn away from it. My encouraging scripture is coming from John chapter 4, verses 23 and 24. Yet a time is coming and has come <clears throat> and has now come when the true worshipers will worship the Father 
in the spirit and in truth, for they are the kind of worshipers the Father seeks. God is spirit, and his worshipers must worship in the spirit and in truth.